you need to have. It appears to be too much, right? Yes, but think of this, that it's supposed to go down and coming back up in this position, okay? If you pay attention, the neck is going right down into this cavity and having a big, basically, curve coming up and then attached to the skull. So this would be your length. And plus, you can always... This is too much. Okay, comparing again, side to side. I press it down with my fingers and it really works well. And try it out, it's all glued down, perfect. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> next anchor point is corner of the beak here. Okay. So I know it's, um, there's a little bit of a bump in here, but we'll take care of it in wrapping. And then <clears throat> I use this length for the other bone and match it exactly the same way. So I push the rest of the skin into this one. And I bring him here. I'm almost equal. If I tap this one a little bit in, perfect. Now I'm good. Make sure that when you're pushing the bone out of the skin, make sure that your skin is not twisted like that because that can create a lot of problem. Just make sure that it's all nice and straight. Once you push the bone out, at least you can have access to the back of the bone, which is the heel. Then you push your wire right through the tendon hole that we have in here, back of the bone, back of the ankle here, and I like to gently push it down, make sure that I'm bending the wire back. And whenever I want to push it back into, into the foam, if you notice, you can see it, that I give it a little bit of a curve first, okay? And then grab it from here, bend it right down into the foam. And with that curve, I push it slowly into the skin and you can guide it by touching it from inside to push it right at the end of the body here on both sides of your tailbone and push the wire in leave about two inch out I'm grabbing from underneath the feathers, I'm grabbing and feeling the sides of the breast, making sure that they're level. try to pop everything up if they're stuck underneath the other one by grabbing on to their shaft pulling them up
and you can easily tell which feather is the corner of the eyelid and the epoxy and then shape it up exactly the way it's supposed to be and the bottom goes down a little bit and this is going to be a super relaxed owl so I think I like to close up the eye a little bit more so for that I bring in the spatula and close up the eye because it solidifies the whole mount to make it stronger so for the wing I, I like to grab the bottom or the end of the humerus here it's attached here, right? Make sure I'm feeling the top, make sure that it's right in the right spot. I like to twist the blonde to slowly, making sure. So oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, when you have placed your wing, when you have bent your wing back to where they belong to, where do you know it's the right spot? It's in the right spot when your primaries, I'm sorry, your secondaries, bend the, back, bend the neck back, I still have that bent in the front, is right here. And that allows me to fill up the, that allows me to fill up the crop area with the proper alignment of the skin. keeping themselves kind of like relaxed. trying to do it so you can see it in the camera there you go make sure your body is standing straight on okay then if I want to make it look like more relaxed I'll bend it a little bit lower back into where they're supposed to be if they have to be a little bit adjusted for carding and everything that's fine as long as they they both come down here in symmetric shape that means you can just leave them there. You're, you're, you've done a good job. Okay, now. Yeah, that's about it.